fellow collectors. Today we're going to be talking about Marvel Legends Hulk Red. The Red Hulk here, General Thaddeus Ross. Here we can see the artwork for him. And on the back we see General Thaddeus Ross transforms into the Hulk, a creature he swore to destroy. So with the new series coming out of Captain America, we see the Red Hulk will be Harrison Ford. Very cool timing on this. Now the Target has re-released these coming out and if you're lucky enough to find them in the store somewhere, count yourself very lucky because these guys are popping off shells fast as they get there. So let's get it on the scale and see how much it weighs. Now the Hulk coming in at one pound, 5.8 ounces. So let's get it off the scale and out of the box. Hey, open, <laughs> damn it, open. Okay, now that we have him out of the box, here are his accessories. See the extra two hands. So yeah, this guy is very, very big. Coming in at eight and a half inches tall, the Red Hulk here, Thaddeus Ross. Looking very, very tough. Now he has this extra pieces here so he can do the roar which you know is very very cool to have take this hand put it there that would look totally awesome now one thing you'll notice whenever you do that is this red here is a little bit darker than the surroundings but it does blend in well with the rest so you might want to just lift it up so it has a little bit more texture like so but shoulders spin around pretty good comes out to a nice style T pose can do that much of up he has a bicep swivel single bend in the elbow wrist on a peg hinge head that can look up a little bit down better right and left a little bit because of these big old shoulders now his ab crunch can do a pretty good back and forward can spin at the waist and spin a little bit at the ab nice splits forward and back thigh rotation double bend in the knee and he has the ankle peg hinge swivel goes forward and back side to side so can do some very nice Hulk style poses and that grimace there that looks awesome doesn't it it looks totally cool yeah definitely looks awesome now let me straighten them up a little bit more and we'll take the marvel select version that Re was reissued and we see the height difference here and yeah they're different versions and uh, they are different uh, companies um, depends on which one you like now I, I like this one just because he's so much bigger and everything but I still love this one because he is larger than your normal figure now here he is with the old toy biz version of the Hulk you can see he is taller than uh, that version, which he should be, right? The first appearance of the Hulk, the old Toy Biz version. Love this version. Now here he is with the Build-A-Figure Abomination. See, he is taller than that version, which is very cool. Very, very nice. Now here he is next to Maestro, and they are on the same height scale. Definitely awesome, awesome, awesome. So these guys would be good on a shelf together. And last but not least, the 80th re-release of the Hulk. There they are together. I definitely could see them being posed as, you know, fighting each other or something like that, you know. But definitely cool looking on your shelf or wherever you chose to pose them at. But you got to have this guy. Got to have it. If you're a Hulk fan, 
Marvel fan, um, if you're coming out with the movies, you know, they might have a, a release here that looks more like the Harrison Ford red guy. So until then, remember to shop around, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.